Passion Meets Paradise for the second annual Key West Film Festival. It is taking place right now. The festival will feature around 40 films in just four days. All of these films will capture the essence of Key West, beauty, sustainability, creativity, and diversity. I'll talk this morning with one of the founders, Brooke Christian. Brooke, thank you so much for being back with me today. Thank you, Jenna. Brooke, it's a pleasure to have you back in town this year. Now, there are a lot of film festivals in Florida. There's even a lot of film festivals in South Florida. So why do you feel that it's so important to have one here in Key West? Well, I think a couple reasons. Um, I think, uh, for one, the, the Key West, um, uh, as a host city, has shown the ability to, to host events um, you know, as well as anywhere in the world. Um, from the, the boat races last week to the Songwriters Festival to Literary Festival to, to all kinds of um, showcase events. Um, and I think um, the, the artistic nature of the community and then the, the commitment to film um, shown by, by in the business community by the, the Tropic Theater, um, it just seemed that the, the setting was the right place to, uh, to put both of those things together. And, uh, and and give the town an opportunity to showcase something that where films were the were the centerpiece. So um, it just seemed to make a lot of sense. It seemed to be the the, the right place and, uh, and the right time. Last year was a successful year for your opening year of the film festival, and I know this year is setting up to be another successful year. Tell us about the headlines. Yeah, last year um, we sold uh, just over two thousand tickets um, and had thirty five films this year, just as some benchmarks. Um, we have more than 40 films. We extended the festival by a day. Last year it was three days. This year it's four. Um, and we're hoping to sell 3,000 tickets this year. Um, we're really excited about uh, the lineup of, of movies that we have. Um, it's, uh, it's a diverse lineup, kind of something for everyone. Um, we have a number of the directors, producers, uh, acting talent in the films coming down. Um, we have Stephen Bauer, who um, is in a Cuban documentary of ours, um, who people, uh, big screen fans may know him from Scarface. Um, mm -hmm. Also from the small screen, he's on a show called Ray Donovan. He was also in the movie Traffic. So we're excited to have him uh, in our, our Cuban American uh, documentary, which is on Sunday night. Um, we also have, uh, of South Florida interest, uh, Billy Corbin, who is a Miami-based director, did Cocaine Cowboys uh, 1 and 2. He's actually showing uh, or helping us feature a showing of Cocaine Cowboys Remix, which is, uh, which is on Sunday. Uh, also, we'll be speaking at a panel. Uh, we also have Mary L. Hemingway uh, uh, from the famous Hemingway family coming down, and uh, mm -hmm. she'll be uh, featuring her movie, and we're also having a, a following reception at the, the Hemingway House, so we're, we're very excited about that. Um, and we just have a number of, of exciting events to, to kind of, again, something for everyone. There's a, there's a concert at the San Carlos Theater, uh, Griffin House, on Friday night, which, um, which should be a fun event as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a pretty jam-packed lineup, and we're, um, we're pretty excited to, uh, to put it together. You have some great people coming down. I love it. And you also will be showcasing some homegrown talent. Uh, we will. So one of our, uh, I guess, uh, key uh, components of the festival is really focusing on, on Florida and the state of Florida. So every year, last year we had it and we'll have it again this year, um, we have a number of Florida-based films. So we have a, a specific Florida programmer who brings in our films um, and the requirements are that the movie's either based in Florida or the, the, the director or producer has Florida roots. So um, one that we're very excited about this year um, is a film called Sunlight Junior. It features uh, Naomi, Watt, Na excuse me, Naomi Watts and, and Matt Dillon. Um, and I actually got a chance to pre-screen it up in the Traverse City Film Festival uh, in Michigan, um, and it's great. So um, yeah, there are a number of other films that, that people can see. Um, not necessarily saying that one gets my, my specific plug, but uh, <laughs> I do recommend it. It's a, it's a great movie. So yeah, f Florida specifically, and, and kind of um, focusing on, on giving opportunities to, to filmmakers here um, is very important to me as well. And the venues where the films will be played? Yeah, same, same this year as last year. Um, the Tropic Theater um, is showing probably 70, per, 70, 80 percent of our movies, and then the the some of the larger films, because it's a larger room, will be shown at the San Carlos, um, as well as a concert event Friday night at the San Carlos. Great. And then events that you really want to plug for people, Brooke. Sure. So um, Thursday night um, there's a 
I left him out, and there's so many people. But uh, John Waters, the, the director of Crybaby, um, is is uh, showing his film, which is called I Am Divine. Um, that's at the San Carlos. There's also a show afterwards, um, so that should be a really big event. Tickets are selling super fast, um, so I recommend getting them as soon as possible. Um, again, Friday night after Meryl Hemingway's movie Running from Crazy, um, there'll be an event at the Hemingway House after party events. So. Um, yeah, there's something every day and every night and uh, a lot to choose from so we just hope that the people from the community um, you know just check it out and uh, and and see what it's all about and um, and hopefully um, you know we gain some support mm -hmm. um, through participation and you know give it a try and, and see what people think absolutely and you can check out a complete schedule on the web go to all these events go to the film so that the film festival can be brought back again next year Brooke it's been a pleasure talking with you thank you thank you so much Jenna. I'm gonna take a quick break but I'll be right back after these messages stay with me